Hello everyone and assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss that how to write a research paper. It is the most important topic that every early research student is interested to know about. So what to write, how to select a topic. Actually students are confused about research and invention. Uh, we normally think that maybe research is about something totally new. We start thinking from ourselves and we are trying to find an idea not from anywhere else but from our mind. But that is not the research. Research is something that always starts from the literature, remain within the literature and end up with the literature. So the most important thing in research is that you have to be very very uh, connected to the literature review so whatever your research area is you need to be uh, searching your topic you need to be searching your uh, literature your methodology your way of analysis your discussion even conclusion and future research avenue all will comes up from the literature review. So let's start with the, the selection of a topic that how you are going to select a topic. Uh, for the selection of the topic as I have discussed in my previous uh, video that you need to select a journal, a research journal. You can select that research journal from HJRS, from Web of Science or from Scopus. So are, are all these uh, are interrelated. Uh, as you can say that in hjrs.hgc.gov.pk you have discipline wise search, search. In discipline you can put management senses and then you can select from categories. You can select Y category or even X category and then you need to refresh it. So you will get a list of research journals. For example, I am going to select a research journal of corporate governance. Then I by clicking this, I can find corporate governance journals, journal website. So here is the articles. You can find several articles in the early site of this journal. Uh, you can select any article of your choice from any journal of your choice. So it's not compulsory that you are going to select from this journal or from any specific journal you just need to go and find either from hjrs either from web of science there are list of all journals and you may go for scopus there are around 40000 journals but specifically in area of management sciences and business uh, you can find that there are at least around 18 to 1900 journals so just pick a journal or two or three then pick after picking the journal you need to select at least four to five journals of that ranking go to the website of the latest issue of those journals so as I have shown you in case of corporate governance uh, there are many issues say for example if we see here you can see that all issues I was checking the early site. Early site means the journal accepted some papers. Paper have been finalized, but these paper have not been included in any issue so far. Just check here that in 2020, Corporate Governance Journal has issued two issues so far. In volume 20, they have two issues. In volume 90s, you can see that there are six issues. So it's a bi-monthly journal. It published an issue after every next month so you can go here and you can find journals uh, sorry research papers of your choice or even you can use research paper of early site that are actually new ideas coming up so after selecting a journal and from journal selecting a paper a research article someone are having research articles they have selected previously so they want to know how to do research now so read those article carefully select one as your base paper 
so after selection of base paper your work starts to write a research paper uh, actually i'm not saying that you should rewrite that article actually all together in similar way in selection always try to find a research paper of foreign context say for example if you are working in uk select a paper from us from australia from new zealand from any country of europe other than uk so if you are working in us select a paper of us uk australia or uh, from any other country of europe if you are working in pakistan select a paper from china if you are working in china select a paper with the context of india pakistan or europe so actually the topic will be different which may not be researched in your country in your context so that will create an initial difference actually so draft each section of your paper abstract introduction literature review methodology analysis and discussion conclusion these are the main area you need to write normally few areas uh, change a bit or few section have subsections like you know, literature review may have theoretical literature and empirical literature methodology may have sampling data uh, model so there can be some other heading or subheading but these are the main headings one thing you need to note here you don't need to write abstract at the start just leave it for the moment directly go to introduction literature review and then methodology here i would like to mention something which i am going to discuss in other video as well these three section make your research propo proposal if you want to write a research proposal it's basically your research proposal so from an article you can find these three sections and you can write rewrite those sections and then after methodology you need to go to analysis you have to use some some software like spss eviews uh, pls or whatsoever so videos will be available regarding these softwares that how you can run those software and how you can perform the analysis and then you have to write a conclusion so i'm going to discuss all these sections collectively that what you need to take care to have a good research paper say for example you have selected a paper of foreign con context and it is written in in the case of us and you want to replicate this study in in pakistani market so how your research is going to be different there are several several reasons that make your research really different first of all that result may be connected last year and you are conducting in 2020 so there's a time difference there's a context different uh, us is much more different than pakistan in us you can say that shareholder concentration is there's no concentration of shareholder but in pakistan you can find family businesses family ownership block ownership and uh, of course then directors setting is going to be different and all those things will be different so your context will be different for this i usually say that find one article as a base article but addition to that make a literature folder and that literature literature portal must contain contain four to five related article from local context which will support you to change the foreign context in local context actually so you don't need to pick all those variable with the same relationship just change that relationship select few different variables from the other four to five papers which you have selected so make a different combination by ma making different combination your hypothesis are going to be different your theoretical framework is going to be a bit different and then as i have discussed your sample size is going to be different your sector you are selecting is going to be different your time frame is going to be different after all this you need to do citations remember 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 to cite the base article as much as you can because the work you are going to extend is that base article one thing is cite the base base article your article is going to be different your variables are going to be different your hypothesis is going to be different your context is going to be different in addition to that as i have told you that select one journal as i have shown you here in case of in 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 this case that you are going to select say for example an article from corporate governance so 
do cite the papers from corporate governance it really helps you to publish your work in those journals basically so in this way you can make different your context and uh, your paper will be different uh, it will be uh, something at least something new and it can extend the body of the knowledge the literature and uh, maybe you are going to add something different from your local perspective which make worth of your research so after the writing you need to go to use a journal template there are several databases and journals and everyone have their own template so before before completing your write up during write up follow the selected journal pattern so that it will be easy for you later on to put it into that pattern so cite a good number of article of selected journal as i have mentioned previously you try to use in note for citation because it will be easy later on that you will use apa style you will use any other style it will be on single click to change the citation pattern so try to use in note for your citation it will also increase the worth of your research paper read every section after completion and then whole draft make it ready to submit after making it ready to submit submit your selected journal submit to your selected journal so i hope you will understand much more about the research this idea is basically for the starter researcher who are starting their research career but obviously it can be helpful for senior professors for researchers those who are senior researcher or professor can guide their students and make them motivate make them motivated to do research make their search easy for them once they will follow these pattern these steps they will be able to do a better research please do comment if you understand if you don't understand anything still you can comment and you can ask any question thank you for watching